chain cleaning. I'm gonna show you the most efficient way to go from this to this. You want to have a super clean chain because it will allow better adhesion of high quality lubes like drip on waxes and immersive waxes, which will make your chain last longer, it will be quieter, more efficient, and in the long run, save you money. Oh, and if you find our maintenance tips and videos useful, then please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because it really does help improve the videos that we can make for you in the future. Now, in the past, we've done videos on cleaning chains and degreasing them using all manner of different degreasers, cleaning products, and Fancy Pants ultrasonic cleaners with a, a whole array of different solvents. But here now, in 2023, there is a modern, more efficient method that's better at cleaning chains, in my opinion. And it's also gonna result in a cleaner chain than Alex's quick and easy method that he showed on bike a few weeks ago. And it doesn't require you to spend a load of money on an ultrasonic cleaner and all those different solvents. This new treatment is more effective than a lot of existing previous degreasers because they're either just not as potent at removing dirt or some of them have chemicals in them which will leave a residue on your chain which then doesn't allow as good adhesion of a wax treatment if you want to apply that afterwards. However, if you are wanting to clean a waxed chain, you don't need to use any chemicals and stuff. The great news is with a wax chain, you can just use boiling water to clean it, which is great for the polar bears and uh, well, great for your bank balance too. First step, remove the chain from the bike, ideally using a quick link and some quick link pliers. This is really, really quick to do and enables you to clean the chain much more thoroughly and efficiently than you can do by leaving it on the bike, which will use more cleaning product and it's just, you can't clean it as well. Then we're gonna place it in a jar. If you're gonna clean it with boiling water at this point, then don't put the lid on the jar because hot things expand pressure and all that. But we're gonna put the chain in the jar. Also, I'm using a glass jar here, but you could use a plastic bottle or an old bead on if you've got one of those lying around. Now, because this chain isn't waxed and it has grease on it, what we're gonna use is this chain stripper. Now, chain stripper is a special chemical designed to strip chains. Now, you can apply it directly onto the bike with the chain on the bike, but I find this is less efficient because you use more of it and you don't get as deep a clean. Plus, as I mentioned, it's super quick to take a chain off a bike if you're using a quick link and quick link pliers, and you can just get a much more efficient, thorough clean, and that's why we're doing it this way. Now, full disclosure, this chain stripper is made by Silka, who I'm delighted to say are one of our sponsors here on GCN. And what sets this apart and kind of makes it unique is that it is designed specifically for that task, chain stripping. You could use a, another bike degreaser for this method, but they're generally more like general purpose degreasers for cleaning all different parts of your bike and not specifically for a chain and it's designed not to leave a residue behind which will impede the bonding of the wax to the chain surface, which some other degreasers, I can't speak for all of them because there's so many, will do. You simply take one ounce or 28 grams or well, a quarter of this bottle and place it in the jar with your dirty chain. Now, one ounce of this stuff should be enough for a chain if it's brand new and it's just got the factory grease on it. But if your chain is dirty like mine and has some grime on it, it may take more than that, maybe two applications. If your chain is super dirty, like mine, then you might need to use a bit more or repeat this step and do two separate rinses in the jar. Having given it a shake, I'm gonna leave it five minutes, then I'm gonna give it another shake, leave it five more minutes, so it's, it's been 10 minutes. That gives plenty of time for the stripper to just penetrate all the links inside the chain, and then I'm gonna take it out. But 
One caveat to this, if you're planning on doing an immersive hot melt wax treatment to your chain, I wouldn't do that on a chain like this that's been used and is dirty. It's only worth doing that on a brand new chain that's got the factory grease on it, so bear that in mind. However, if you are wanting to just use like a drip on wax on your chain, or any other lube for that matter, but you just want a really clean chain to help prolong its life, then yeah, you can use it on a used chain like I'm doing here. Once 10 minutes is up, we're gonna give it a quick slosh and then we're gonna simply rinse it with water. If you've got a hose pipe, then well, you can take it outside and rinse it there or you can do what I'm gonna do and rinse it in my mum's kitchen sink. Don't tell my mum that I'm doing this. But it's okay because this stuff is biodegradable, which means the polar bears are safe. It's got like a leaf on the bottle and everything. Cool, right, let's go do it. With your chain washed and clean, you now need to dry it before you apply any lube or wax to it. So you can just leave it hung up and then where it can dry sort of naturally, or you can use compressed air or a hairdryer on like a low setting, something like that. Get creative. Um, but then once it's dry, you then just use a quick link to attach it back onto your bike and then apply a drip on lube to it while it's on the bike running it through in the way that we've shown you in previous videos. One caveat though, and that is using this specific chain stripper, I wouldn't recommend that you do that on a dirty chain like I showed you today. That was more for sort of demonstration purposes. Um, it's designed really to be used on a new chain with the packing grease on it. It still does work on a dirty chain, but if you are going to the effort of really wanting to thoroughly clean a dirty chain so that you can apply high performance lube on it, you're better off just doing that to begin with when the chain's new and removing the packing grease and then starting to use a high performance uh, drip on wax or a wax uh, based immersive wax from, from the go with your new chain. That way you'll get a lot more life out of it and the, the drip on chain stripper will be a much more effective cleaning tool at removing that packing grease that comes with the chain. So I hope you found this useful. If you have, thumbs up, share it with your friends and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Right. Cheers, bye.